Welcome back to Celebrity Page TV. Now we're checking back in with Arthur Cade for more with country star Rodney Atkins. After four and a half years, you have this new album. Tell me about the album. What? How do you evolve as a songwriter? How does it all change for you? I'd say this album, a little more vulnerable in, in some of the songs. My wife, Rose Falcon, who's a songwriter as well, she's written her own number one songs and has an amazing career. We wrote a couple songs together on this and there's a couple duets. It's the first time I've had love songs that aren't about breaking up or fighting. <laughs> and uh, it, it's fun, you know, I've kind of pushed the boundaries on myself uh, vocally on all these tunes and uh, just enjoy kind of fell in love with singing again. With them fields of gold and cotton rolls and never ending sky At take it slow, easy roll, man, it's life You would mentioned your wife. She is a very successful songwriter herself. How does that all work when you are able to kind of bounce off each other to create music? Truthfully, it starts out and you think every song you write has got to be the end-all, be-all, greatest love song ever been written. And it, it doesn't happen you just hit this wall and then we kind of hit that spot where we figured out what she does to make songs move forward and she let me do what I did and we complimented each other I think and, and wrote a couple of really great songs to see what country music has become pretty mind-boggling it is you know and it's still I think it all still goes back to you know Garth Brooks and uh, how he just turned it into not not your not sleepy songs about you know drinking and dogs it, it's expanded a whole lot man and I say my audience are intelligent rednecks and they're everywhere I feel like I sing to the rural heart everybody make sure to check out Rodney Atkins new album it's called caught up in the country out now